In this video, we're going to set up a MIDI keyboard here in Studio One, so we can of course play our virtual instruments, but we'll also be able to use things like the transport to play, stop, fast forward, and use our knobs and faders. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing we'll do here is come up here to Studio One and Options. Head over here to External Devices. Come down here and choose Add. Up here, we're going to choose New Keyboard because the keyboard I'm using doesn't have a pre-programmed profile included in Studio One. Now, if yours does, it's even easier than what we're gonna do here. You can just head in here and find your keyboard, whatever it happens to be, select it, choose your receive from, and you're pretty much good to go. Now the keyboard we're using is an M-Audio Axiom, but the profile they have in here doesn't work for my version because my version is the first generation, while the profile here is actually for the second generation. So what we're gonna do, again, is in our case, choose new keyboard. We'll go ahead and fill out the manufacturer. If you want, you don't have to. Then I'll fill in the Axiom 61, so that way I know what it is. And then down here for MIDI channels, you're probably, at least for now, gonna wanna just choose all. So make sure all of those are selected, receive from. Now this keyboard is already connected to my computer via USB. So I'll just use my drop down here. And of course, select USB Axiom 61 for you. Select, you know, wherever you have your keyboard plugged in or whatever the driver happens to be called. And here we can filter things out if you want. We don't want to do that for now. But for example, if you wanna filter out a pitch bend so you're not accidentally recording that data, you can do that right in here, okay? Now for send to, in our case, we don't wanna send this information anywhere, but you can do that right here. You can split the channels. I'm not gonna go in depth into this. You can read more about split channels uh, later on. We can make this the default instrument input if we want as well. But for now, let's just leave it like this. We can always come back and change this later on. Okay, and okay. So let's come back here to our instrument here. As you can see, we already have the Axiom selected there. Let's make sure we can actually hear this right there. But if I press the play button here, nothing. If I turn a knob, we're getting the input, but nothing's happening. That's because we need to set that up separately, all right? So let's turn that off for now, pull this back down. And what I'll do is just use this drop down right here under control and choose my Axiom 61. And we'll bring up this window. You could also come over here to mix and just make sure you have external showing. Use your drop down and go to edit. Same exact thing. All right, so we just want this window here. Now what we're gonna do, since, uh, since our keyboard is not included in the uh, included profiles in Studio One, is we're going to go ahead and program our knobs and faders and our transport buttons. And we're gonna do that manually. So to do that, it's super easy here in Studio One. I'll just hit MIDI Learn. Now I'll move some faders and knobs. And you can see as soon as I do that, they're added here to our list. So I'll go through here and do the rest of these. And of course do the transport buttons as well. Okay, now what we can do is come in here and let me move a control here. And that control is a fader. So I can click here, right here or where this little arrow is, and I can change that to a fader. I can also click in here and give this a name. So I can call this fader one if I want, okay? And we can just continue like that. That's also a fader. I'm not gonna go through all of these because you probably get how this works. I'm gonna call this one fader two. And of course, continue on like that. Now what about my knobs? Same thing here. So it's right here. I'll just leave that as a knob. I can call this knob four because that's what it is on the board. And of course, go on and continue like that. But what about things like buttons like this here? So that's a button that we can use for something. Let's change this to a on off button in our case. And we can call that button one or whatever you wanna call it, right? And of course, continue on like that. And then for our transport, we can see right here, that's a button there. This is a button right here. 
right here's a button and of course give these names as you go along but i'll just hit stop for now and come in here call that stop and this one here should be a button this one should be play we'll check it to make sure and this is record and make sure that's a button there as well now for our buttons we have some additional controls so here on play for example i can right click that and do assign command now you can't do that on you know something like a knob or even here's a fader there's no assign command there but we have that for our buttons so here's button one which you remember is over here right there right we can assign a command to that if we want assign command you can see everything that's in here a lot of stuff you can do but in order to save time let's just program say stop here go to assign command or search for say stop and we'll just choose stop okay and we type in say uh, transport here let's look here for what we want so you might want to assign a click to something you know that's kind of interesting but what we want here is just uh play so play selected range play from loop start whatever you want to do that we'll do a start there's what i guess it should be is start and then of course here right click assign command and i'll just type in record here and see if that comes up and transport control record okay so I'm not going to set up the rest of these right now. You of course should, and I will after the uh, video, of course, but now we're pretty much done. We can at least show this so I can take MIDI learn off. Now we can close this down. If you ever want to get back to it, it's super simple. Just head up here, go to your device, head back into MIDI learn. And of course you can start, uh, you know, changing these things here to faders or buttons or whatever you want. And of course for your buttons, go ahead and right click those and assign your commands uh, right there. Okay. So you can always get right back to it. But as you can see here, let me actually grab uh, some audio here. Just throw it in real quick. And if I hit play on our keyboard now, of course starts playback. We can of course stop that. We can fast forward, although we didn't set that up. Did we? Of course, if we set up fast forward, we could uh, fast forward, rewind. We could go into record here. If I had something record enabled, because so we did set up record, as you can see. That's super easy. So of course, you know, for fast forward, rewind, all that stuff, I come back in here to our Axiom 61, go back here, press say these buttons here, just find where they are. So they're right there. That would be rewind. Of course, come in here, assign this and find for rewind. Very good. I'd probably want to name it rewind as well. And of course, do the same thing here for fast forward and then right click and assign and then search for forward here. So transport, because this is our transport. Of course you can assign whatever you want uh, to your buttons. Take it off MIDI learn, bada bing. And there we go. Super easy to do here. Let you use all of your keyboard commands here in Studio One. Now, what about uh, just real quick here at the end? What about something like our faders? So we set those up. We didn't name them yet, but uh, we could come in here and we can right click things and we could assign, say, uh, let me go ahead and move a fader here. Okay. And then I could right click, say, our volume down here and then assign volume to control 11 because we didn't give it a name. I, of course, would probably call that. Uh, fader nine or something like that. Select that and now I can control our master volume right here on uh, the keyboard there. Super simple. What if I want to, let me actually move my fader first. Okay. Then assign that right here. And now we can even play back and control the volume of that track. You could also come up here maybe and move this knob. I'll right click. I could assign that to a knob if I wanted to. All right. And control a bunch of different things just by learning, uh, learning that automation. And of course we can do the same thing in your instruments as well. So if I move a knob here, I can assign that. Okay. And assign all that stuff. 
to your different knobs and faders and things like that. Assign anything, you know, wherever, pretty much wherever you want. Now, in some cases, let's say with contact here, if I right click something to learn it and I already have it assigned in Studio One, it might not work. Okay. Now, this here is a function of contact. So I'll cancel that here. And in this case, I'd come back to our Axiom 61. Let me turn on MIDI Learn, find my knob, which is right here, right click, just remove that one. Okay. Again, this does not happen to all virtual instruments. This is just uh, some of them. But now I can right click here, learn that MIDI automation, turn my knob, and assign it in this case in contact. So just remember that if you're not able to learn something on a specific plugin, you might want to come back in here and remove just those knobs you want to assign to, you know, the plugin that it's not letting you assign, uh, assign things to. Okay. So just keep that in mind, but that is how you would set up a keyboard here, manually set up a keyboard here in studio one and use everything, control everything. Not only of course, use, uh, the keyboard here, which of course we can use, but also use all of our faders, our knobs, and of course our transport controls.